welcome back to another video from What Ewan's Doing Football Channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review of a football shirt that I bought online from the online application Vova. If you're not familiar with what Vova is, it is an online platform for shops and stores all around the world to sell their stuff through this application. It's very similar to your online shops like AliExpress, Wish and many more. As said in the thumbnail, this is obviously a fake shirt and this video hasn't been made to review it and encourage you to go and buy a fake strip. This is generally just to see what the actual strip is like and what you would expect if you were to purchase from Vova. So in no way am I encouraging anyone to go out and buy a fake strip. Obviously it's okay to go out and buy fake strips if you can't afford the real thing at that time. but. Me personally, I don't tend to buy fake strips, um, especially not for my collection. This is just purely on a review basis and we're going to give it a rating out of 10 at the end of the video. I am quite excited to make this video because for two reasons. One, a few days ago I was delighted to see that we hit 50 subscribers, which obviously I know is not a lot, but for myself it's a massive milestone. To, to where I want to try and drive the channel. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. It really is appreciated. And secondly, 24 hours from now, I will no longer have this monstrosity of a haircut. Yes, I'm going to finally get my haircut and I am so, so excited. I mean, I have been told from time to time that I do look slightly like um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but uh, like, you know, I mean, we've all got to part ways at some times, but I'm really looking forward to my haircut. Who said that you look like Zlatan? Um, sorry, what? I said, who told you that you look like um, one of the well, greatest I, I didn't that ever lived? Get told per se in person. You I just ever naturally say this assumed that I looked like Zlatan. Nobody looked like Zlatan. You look more like Matalana Ibrahimovic. You don't ever say these words again. You understand? You make sure you like this video and subscribe to Todi channel. Enjoy. Okay, let's get on with the video. So the top that we're going to be reviewing today is the PSG 4 strip from this season. As you can see in the pictures, I purchased this strip for around £15, including postage. I really don't know what to expect from this strip. Uh, we've got it right here. So we're going to have a quick look at it and we're going to see what we have. I did have a quick look at the strip beforehand just to make sure that there was actually a football strip in there. It seems to be the right one that I ordered, but again, we're going to see what it's like and yeah, let's get into it. As I said, uh, this is as far as I went just to make sure that it was almost what I ordered. So we're going to see what we have here. Okay, so just on first thoughts of just me feeling it, you can feel that there is almost like a, a fakeness there, if you will. Um, I'm not saying that it's like blatantly obvious, but straight away you, you can feel that it's not being um, made very well on that point but we'll carry on and then we'll see what the rest of the strip is like so let's see oh and it has okay fair enough it has got tags as well which do look obviously it's, it's not a legitimate tag but for what it is it looks like if you looked at it on first glance or even in a shop you'd you would think that that's legitimate but at least so far they have the tags right all right um, on first thought, it's not actually bad. I'd say it's one of the more better fakes I've seen. So just to give you a quick look. Now again, I'm going to try and describe it as best as I can, obviously, because you're watching it through a video. But from my point of view, it's not actually too bad. And with the strip as well, I did get... Kylian Mbappe on the back just to um, sort of see what the name set was like as well. But I'm going to be very honest, it's not actually bad. I'm going to be trying careful what I say because I don't want to promote buying fake strips because I don't agree with it. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to be honest and say that it feels and looks actually better than I thought it would. Like the badge, for instance. Um, Obviously, I know that you would have to be an expert in this to tell the, the difference and I'm just learning as I go along, but it's not actually too bad. Again, like you could, 
you could probably tell it's a fake, but you'd probably have to spend a bit of time to actually know that it is a fake, but it's not actually too bad at all. And obviously you've got the Jordan logo on there that's done quite a few strips for PSG. Um, yeah, so far not too bad. I did look at the strip online beforehand just to know what I was actually looking for and if it's missing any detail as such, but so far it's got everything that you would get from the actual real strip itself. Um, it's even got the detailing of the Nike sponsorship as well and, uh, and uh, the PSG as well. And the name set itself is actually not too bad. It doesn't feel as fake as you, you would think. Obviously it would be made from a cheaper material um, but it's even got all the sponsors on it as well. Yeah, it's even got the side sponsor as well by QNB as well which is all on the, the PSG strips as I'm aware. And it's got the engineered Jordan by Nike as well um, with a sort of authenticity sort of label there. Again, we obviously know it's not. Just gonna see if there's a serial number on here as well. There is one, but it's not by Nike, obviously, so that's a bit of a given. Now we're gonna try this on and obviously see how it feels on ourselves as well. So, yeah, it, it actually feels all right. Um, I'm not gonna say that it feels perfect, and obviously, again, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I'm trying not to give it too many positive points because at the end of the day, it is a fake, but, it's not bad at all. I think, obviously again, for any experts out there that are specifically in the football field of shirts and know what they're looking for in terms of fakes, and obviously there are some things that you can point out straight away that tells that it is a fake, such as the serial number for example, but apart from that, genuinely, maybe the material a bit, because like, you know, it, it has that very cheap feel to it, but apart from that, I can't really find a lot wrong with it as such. And if you're gonna wear this out in public, I I think you would be the only person that would know that, that this is a fake. Um, so yeah, I don't think we've done too bad. I mean, for what I'm doing with this shirt as a review, for 15 pounds, I, I don't think I've done myself a lot of damage in terms of my bank balance. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a bad strip. And for what you get, for the amount that I paid for it. I don't think it's a bad purchase at all, but I'm gonna say this for the last time. I know I'm saying positive points about a fake strip. This is not what this video is for. It's just rating it on a fake basis, if you will. Um, it's just to give you a bit of context on what it's actually like if you were to ever to purchase a football strip on Volva. So please take that with a pinch of salt. So yeah, I don't, again, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, I will probably end up uh, keeping it actually. I'm not going to put it as part of my collection. I'm not saying that oh, this will be part of it, but I can still use it. I can still wear it. I can put it up on the back wall with the rest of my football shirts for future videos. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. So if I were to give this a rating based on the application itself, how long it took to get here, the product itself and the materials and whatnot and what it looks like, I would probably give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. I'm only just basing it on the actual strip itself. I mean, I'll be very honest, if you were to put this up against the genuine strip, and I don't think you would find a lot of differences, but this is me trying to not encourage people to, to go and buy fake strips. Obviously, I know that there are a lot of people out there that can't afford the real strip and yes there are some websites out there that you can get strips that are undeniably alike the genuine thing and you only pay half the price for it but again me just starting out as a football collector I obviously don't want to include fake strips in my collection but at the same time if you're a football fan that just likes football and wants to get the late strips without paying full price for it then I'd maybe suggest this, but at the same time, do not take my word for it. Um, I have done a bit of research on Volva just in terms of what the reviews were like, and some can be a bit dodgy, some try to scam you, some don't even send it out. So if I have any advice for you, if you are going to order anything off this app, it, whether it be football strips or anything at all, 
make sure you pay via credit card or via PayPal because in that way you will be fully protected if your item doesn't arrive or if it doesn't come as described and um, so just make sure you do that and you will be covered by your bank or PayPal. Thank you very much again for watching I do hope you really enjoyed the video just to add on at the end we have finally started a podcast since I was young as a podcast mainly on Heart or Midlothian Football Club with my good friend Alan so if you are a Hearts fan or just a fan of Scottish football in general please make sure to check us out I'll leave the link in the description below and please think about subscribing if you want to hear some good patter and good debates on Heart or Midlothian and as always you, you guys have been amazing so far but for all you new guys out there if you did like this video please smash that like button and think about subscribing for more future football content and I will see you in the next one take care Bye for now.